Welcome to Daily Ohm. It is so easy for clutter to pile up in our homes, which end up cluttering our minds. But then again, decluttering can feel overwhelming. So what do you do? Today, we're gonna to learn about how to clear your space without the mental stress. And here to give us some good tips is transformative interior designer, Kim Caldwell. Welcome, Kim. Michelle, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So first, most important question, why is it important for our health, for our space to be clean and organized? Our home shows the first signs of what's going on inside of us. So when we start cluttering, immediately start to understand we may be overwhelmed, we may be getting stressed, and by cleaning it up, it helps us feel better. And by seeing it, it helps us realize just like a cough is a great sign for a cold, that's a sign we are feeling out of control. So this question is really hard for all of us. What do we do about sentimental items? They could be things that have been passed down from previous generations, or they just are very meaningful to us. How do we know what to keep and what to let go of? When something is really meaningful, keep it, but don't just throw it into storage. Think of a really neat way to house it, reuse it, or make it into art. Then you can take some of your most top shelf items that are really important to you. But what do you do with an old, a t-shirt that your boyfriend gave you in college and you don't wanna ever let it go? Maybe you turn it into a neat pillow or maybe you stretch it over canvas. Taking your beautiful items and turning them into pieces of art are so fun to do. And then of course there are the books that we can make and all of the other ways that we can shrink that collection down so we're really going to enjoy it and not be overwhelmed by it. That's the key is enjoying those important items, having them within sight so we can actually remember the memories and enjoy it. A big part of keeping a clear space, I know, is preventing the clutter in the first place. What are some habits we can be practicing every day to make sure that our space is clean? Having a place for things to go is the number one thing to figure out. And then every day, really making sure before you go to bed or before you get to work or starting your day in the house, put those things away. It will get easier and easier as you go. Almost like training your muscle memory. It really is, yeah. Okay, Kim, so just to wrap it up, can you give us three quick tips that we can do today to make our homes clear and stress-free? When you are looking for seating, get it something that has the function of decluttering, such as a banquette with storage or a bench with storage. A cabinet is always a good idea. Drawers, doors, and also baskets, not just having the basket, but putting a lid on it. The next is be unconventional. There's so many neat ways to create storage on a budget that we don't think about. Like grab a spice rack and put it behind your pantry door or your vanity door. You can pack up your cosmetic bags, your toothbrush, all of those simple things and now they're housed in a way that you can get to them very easily. And lastly, every day when you come home, start to take notes. Oh wow, I put these types of things in these types of places make notes, measure it out, and start to list out, well, what am I going to get to house these items? And one quick last tip, compartmentalize even further. When you open a drawer, use all those neat boxes that come with your candle or little bags that come with things and, and open the drawer and have all of that, that organized so it's not spreading and piling amongst <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Okay, well, you heard it. Start using those boxes and lids and organize the drawers. And before you know it, hopefully you'll be a lot more stress-free at home. Thank you so much, Kim, for giving us your insider tips today. Thank you, Michelle. And if you'd like more information on optimizing your home space, please visit us at dailyome.com.